this video, video deals with getting uh, your header straight in a way and either using the default uh, header text or uploading a custom logo. And there's going to be a number of ways that you can do a header in WordPress and I want to try to, I'm going to cover three of them, give you a good idea so that you can basically take that and use it with any particular theme. The first is going with the default header text and this is not using a custom logo. Uh, I'm in the process of actually building this uh, video uh, tutorial website here and since this is one of the earlier videos and you're gonna see here right here is what you would call the header part of this theme that I'm using and I haven't customized this logo yet. I, I will be but I haven't yet. And so really that's gonna be the simplest uh, way to put up a logo or a header and really that's done by doing nothing. Now what's made what's difficult with headers these days with WordPress is different themes offer different ways of adding and dealing with headers. I'm using the Genesis framework here so I'm going to show you and this is a very common way of dealing with headers and that's going to your appearance and header. And a lot of themes, not just Genesis, a lot of themes offer this option for uh, uploading your own logo or header. And what's great about this is uh, if, if a theme uses this process it'll specify the size of the logo. So this really isn't a header per se, this is more of a logo size that I can upload. And the reason for that is is because it's got a menu option there. Some uh, custom headers are going to give you a full width option. And so um, if we're going to use the default with no custom logo, what we do is we just show header text with your image and you want to ensure that under settings in general that you have your site title there and so this site title will by default be your logo. Now if we want to um, do a custom uh, header uh, I'll go to an, another live site that I have and this is a site that's been featured in some other videos and uh, we're going to go to our appearance header same place. Again this is Genesis framework but again a lot of themes are going to use this option and what I've done is I've uploaded a custom uh, header here it's a logo and you can see the size here is different because I'm using a different child theme and what I also did is I wanted to uncheck the box show header text with your image and we can take a look at this and you can see that it's just a, a basic logo it's an image you can do a JPEG or a ping and here we are. Uh, it's a really simple one but it is an image it's not the, the text default and you can get really fancy with whatever logo you like. This is a full width header here it's 960 pixels wide and so that's how you would add a uh, generally if your WordPress theme offers this header option under here that's how you'll do that. Now let's take a look at an option where you're not going to see this and I have another live site that I can show you that here we are. I'm in a different site now and this site uses a different theme altogether. It uses uh, called Squirrel Theme. Now it's a free business theme with an option to upgrade. I found you don't need to upgrade to get a half decent looking site um, and I'll be profiling the Squirrel Theme in more detail in other videos but here I just want to show you what you're going to get. You see here I don't have the header option here okay and that's because I have a theme options box so if you don't see that header option there and your theme offers uh, theme options or theme settings uh, a panel that's most likely uh, pretty much uh, every theme I've used that's where you're gonna find the option to upload a custom logo and here we are sure enough here's our custom logo under general settings and it tells us the size here so it's 300 by 90 you just upload your image put in there and save all. So uh, it's going to, it does depend on uh, the theme that you use, but, but really those are your options. Uh, if I didn't upload an image, sometimes what will happen is it won't let you have default text, some will. So it's again really theme dependent. And you can see how this looks uh, on this site. There we go. This is the squirrel theme. Again, I use a very simple uh, heading. This is a spec site I'm building out for local businesses. But there's the header. I can make that look a lot nicer as well. 
So that's dealing with headers and logos. Uh, really, you know, you call logo or header, it's kind of the same thing. Um, I'm going to briefly cover one more option. Uh, I'm going to go back to the original site. This is this is the actual tutorial site. This theme is called Grind. It's a child theme for Studio Press. What's cool about this is it also does have a theme in these settings. And what this does here is I can have a featured slider. And this is actually really, really nice. I'm not using it for the site because it's not necessary. But if you have the featured slider, what that does is it really dresses it up quite a bit. And I'll show you show you that also. Here I am. Uh, I'm at the, the demo of this theme I'm using. It's called Grind. And you can see basically you get this on the home page, a large full width slideshow. So that dresses up the the whole front page look quite a bit. So that's a different way. And that was done uh, simply by turning that slider on and uh, adding the header here. So there's always going to be a number of ways of, um, depending on the theme you use, of, of adding your header. So don't look for one magic way to do that. You're going to have to dig around a little bit. But always start under appearance and look for header. And if it's there, then that's going to make it pretty simple for you.